Hi, Taurus. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a general reading. Today, we're going to ask Spirit what Spirit wants you to know in all areas of your life. A little bit of love, career, finances, spiritual growth. What is it that you need to hear? What messages does Spirit have for you? So it is truly a general, a, a general reading. Think of it as an almost personal reading. That's the best way to think of it. Um, so welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. So grateful that you've been guided here. Spirit, if you can please share with me any messages from my Taurus that have found this reading. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. You are here for a reason. Don't ever forget it. Everybody is so important. There's something special about you, and you are definitely here for a reason. Give without expectation. The more we give, the more we get back. Just keep putting it out there. Give, 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 give. Um, take responsibility for your actions. I know you do. I know you do. But, you know, if you say something that you shouldn't have, you know, obviously you say you're sorry, you know, just some of the basics, right? Um, so we always want to take responsibility for our choices, our actions, and then trust your intuition. Nice. Maybe some of you are um, you're not listening to your intuition. You're not watching the red flags that spirit's giving you or that you need to be much more aware of your intuition. Um, it's kind of like an afterthought um, that you knew, you feel it afterwards that I should have listened. I should have um, I should have gone with my first feeling, my gut instinct, something like that. So be more aware of that. And then let's get one more of these. What's your energy? Your beliefs are right for you. It's perfect for you. Okay. We all have our belief systems, our values, our morals, what works for us and what doesn't work for us. So stand your ground, defend yourself when you need to know what, know who you are, uh, lead by example, do all of those types of things. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, comment below. So grateful spirit has guided you here. Let's see what we have. Let's see what the messages are today. I like to trust your intuition. You know, like your, your intuition is guiding you. Um, there could be something very important going on right now in your life. And that could be your number one, um, you know, the most important way for you to get the answers that you're seeking is your own intuition. Okay. Um, I have a tower. I have a six of pentacles. I'm sorry. Yeah, six of pentacles. I have a ton of swords. For every ending, there's a new beginning. Look at you and your intuition. Okay. This feeling of more give and take. I love the tarot reader and I love the crystal ball and these cards. That's so cool. Um, trust your intuition. Okay. Trust your spirit guides. Listen to your own inner voice. What is, what are you being guided to, to? They're trying to open you up either a, an awakening of some kind, or they're trying to open you up to, um, you know, I guess your life's purpose would probably be a good way to say it. So maybe they're taking something away from you right now or took something away from you right now um, to pick you up and put you on a different path. And maybe you're questioning that or have been questioning that. Uh, but I feel like you're going to realize like why, you know, it's only when we look back that we realize that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I feel like you're, you're, I don't want to say that you're not trusting, but you are, um, I don't know, there could be somebody in your life that is not healthy and isn't helping you make good decisions. And maybe spirit saying that, that you need to move on from that, or you need to um, put yourself first, put your energy first, love yourself first, like don't live your life for somebody else, or don't be codependent, you know, with somebody. Um, they got to take care of themselves and you got to take care of yourself is how it's coming into me. Um, but I do feel like they are trying to pick you up and put you on a new path of some kind. Uh, Knight of Swords, you might be ready to make a move, right? Seven of Swords. 
uh, boy, moving away, moving away to something that's a better connection. All right. Even if it's moving towards better friendships, a better relationship, um, being being in a healthier, healthier place. But I feel like you are ready to say no. I'm going to say that, you know, like you're saying no more often. That's not in alignment with me. That's not healthy for me. It's not good for me. Something along those lines. Um, so right now, I want you to really listen to your intuition because your intuition is going to give you that, that immediate yes or no about either somebody coming into your energy or somebody that's in your energy now that you may need to make a decision of. I've got a, I've got a lot of fear around a situation I have a princess of pentacles and I have a five of swords. You're getting stronger. Spirit just said you are being landing on your feet. They're saying you're not going to be alone. Um, if you feel like you're afraid to be alone or be independent in some sense, um, I, I feel like you're not going to be alone. And I feel like you are going to be able to stand on your own two feet and, and not struggle. So part of me is saying, I just, it's probably an old wound of yours of struggling in some way, struggling financially, fighting with somebody, financial fear, um, and those wounds come up often. So maybe the financial fear is something that holds you back from something that you really want to be doing or something that you feel like you should be doing. So maybe we just need to put some of that on hold, try to try to let go of some of that and go back to focus on what you're really good at. All right. This is more like finding your power. You're a Taurus. Um, put some of those fears aside. I, I'm going to say fear of not having enough or that I was in a really, really bad place years ago and I struggled financially. I worried about housing. I worried about money. Um, and it just, it's just really hard to overcome some of those things. I want you to lean more on your spiritual strength right now. Follow your intuition and lean into um, who you are and who you've become because you're not where you used to be either. Okay. Let's see what the love messages are. Maybe it's connected to a relationship, but right now it's more you're gonna be you're not gonna be alone, is the message. There's something going on about um, you're not alone. Okay. I'm going to say it that way. You know, like you're never alone. You're never alone. So for those of you that feel like you're alone, you're never alone. Something like that. A proposal, an offer, offer of a proposal is in the near future. It might come as a surprise. Maybe some of you want to be married and you haven't found the person that you're looking for. And that's something that you're really worrying about all the time. Like, am I ever going to find somebody? And maybe that's why spirit's letting you know you're not going to be alone. You are attracting the right person. You're, you're going to attract this person, your energy, your strength, your beliefs, your values, your worth is going to attract this person. And then I have a heartbreak. Heartbreak is part of the human experience and it will pass. So there's the wound. OK, you know, the heartbreak in the past could have created a financial crisis or could have created a, a place where I'm in financial fear, you know, that something happened that I had to start all over again, something along those lines. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need us to hear? What do you want my Taurus to know? I have a six of wands. You're going to have a much more successful relationship coming into you. This is what you've been hoping for. This is what you've been wishing for. Take off your guard. Take down your mask. You've got a knight of cups. You've got a romance coming in. Um, this is going to be what you wish for and dreamed of. If this has already arrived, it's a beautiful connection. It's a perfect connection. If this hasn't, hasn't arrived, then just look forward to spirit sharing with you something along the lines of you're never alone or you're not ever going to be alone. So that is something I feel like you need to hear today. Um, and also this this kind of relying on your own gut feelings and your own intuition. So I think that's important. What else do you need us to hear today for my Taurus? 
Um, you will have financial security. If you're worried about your finances, I don't have enough. Will I have enough? My future, my retirement, my savings, buying a home. Yes, you will have those things. You can work towards those things. You are going to make mistakes and it's okay. Sometimes we, we learn by messing up. So if you feel like you made mistakes or you feel like you made um, you chose the wrong path or made a bad decision or something along those lines. You didn't. You, um, you did those decisions at that point in your life, but you won't make those same choices again today. So, you know, it's, it's just a learning curve and it's just part of your story. It's part of your history. Everybody's got their own history. Know that whatever decision you made, it was the right one. Absolutely. Yeah. So spirit's like not allowing you to have regrets. It's like spirit's not allowing you to look at the past and and um, be upset about it or be angry or bitter or um, self-doubt yourself now. You know, for those of you that say, I just keep picking the wrong person, um, you know, you have to say, I'm, I'm grateful that that person's been removed from my life or I chose to remove that person from my life and I will choose wisely in the future. I will choose differently in the future, you know? So it's not that you just keep picking the wrong person. It's that the person, people that you were in relationships with in the past weren't meant to be in your life forever. They were brought into your life for a short period of time for whatever reason, you know? So keep it, keep that in mind. Try not to resist the changes that come your way. Don't delay the inevitable you're going to change no matter what you've changed already. You know, it's only when we look backwards that we realize how much you've changed. So you're in a different place today. You're a different person today. And sometimes we have to be, um, you know, just aware of who we are, what's important to us and where we're going. Um, and then you surround yourself with people that think like you or act like you or um, have the same interests and, and common goals as you and you remove people, you know, like sometimes you remove friendships from your life because you just don't enjoy what they have to say anymore or you don't you're not on the same page with that person anymore. You know, things happen for those for those uh, reasons. Follow your own passion, like tap into what it is that, you know, makes you tick. I have a five of wands and eight of pentacles. And I have an ace of swords. I like this. Like, don't fight something that you feel like you're really good at. Okay. Don't put something on hold, they just said. Like, don't, um, I'm going to say, don't hold back. All right. Don't hold back. You know, like, is there something that you could be putting more time and effort into um, that you're passionate about? Um, that you put on hold for a reason. You put on hold because of time, because of money, um, because you, I don't know, you don't have the effort to do it. You know, is there something that you always saw yourself doing? I feel like it's time for you to start. It's time for you to, to get out there and do it. For every ending, there's a new beginning. And, you know, this could be something that you've always wanted to do. Sometimes spirit will take things away from you. They'll take jobs away from you, relationships away from you, um, homes, um, you know, all kinds of things, finances um, to pick you up and put you on a different path. So sometimes, you know, we don't know what is ahead of us. But spirit knows what's ahead of us. And I feel like they're trying to redirect you. Look at all these aces, three aces, okay? They're trying to redirect you into a, a, kind of like a new journey, a new journey for something that brings you more passion, more joy, more emotion, and something that you can see clearly, something that you want. It, what, is that, what is it that you want? You know, what is it that you're trying to achieve? And get your mind on it. You can achieve it. You can achieve it. Let's see if it's connected to your, could be connected to your success or your finances. Let's grab a couple of messages for that right now. What is it that, what is it that we're trying to achieve? Um, innovation. Uh, you will need to come up with new strategies to keep your plans in motion. Be creative. 
Be inventive. Get those gears turning, okay? Get your mind turning. What is it that you want to do? You know, if, if you don't have the answers, surround yourself with people who maybe can give you some of the answers or they're doing what you want to do. Um, don't reinvent the wheel. Find out how they do it. Find out what it is that they, how they learned to be where they are today. Something like that. Go with the flow. The universe is sending you help. And I am a true believer of that. If you ask the universe, excuse me, for what it is that you want, they will put people on your path. I call them stepping stones that all of a sudden you ask a question. I want to I want to do something. And all of a sudden you're having a conversation with somebody. It could be a complete stranger. And the person's answering the question that you just put out into the universe. So spirit will find you the answers that you seek. You just have to ask the questions and they will put people in front of you that will continue to guide you. So just keep listening. Wisdom. You're being called to serve as a mentor. I love that. I like this sense of your light. Okay. I like this sense of don't hold back, you know, just, um, you know, mentoring somebody else or your wisdom, your knowledge, your knowledge is ready to help others. So you could have incredible experience. You could have life experience. You could have gone through something very, very difficult. And it's your job to help somebody else get through it as well. You know, you could be called to do something, Spirit saying. So this wisdom, the sense of wisdom and knowledge, I feel like are key to you right now. Like share that knowledge, share that share what you've learned with others, you know, like, I feel like that's really important. And then this reward coming to you because of your, your sharing and your giving, you know, whether it's work related or personal or spiritual, um, I feel like it comes back to you. So let's just get a couple of more, one more of these, a new life. You may get a fresh start or be called to bring on a new perspective. You may be get a new offer. You may have something new coming into your life, I guess is the question. So let's get one more of these. They're very pretty. And a wish come true. Your wish is being granted. It may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It is just what you need. So make a wish. You know, sometimes we have to just trust that the things that we really want are out there. Um, they're on their way. We will get there eventually. We'll get our arms around whatever it is that we're hoping and dreaming of, right? And Spirit's saying, don't hold back. They're, they're asking you to trust your intuition first and foremost. And then the other thing they, they wanted to let you know today is that you're never alone and that you're not doing this alone. Let's see what they want you to surrender to. Spirit, please share with me. What do I need to surrender to today? Um, to surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe. Focus on your own power and let others come to you. Beautiful. Yeah, you have something to share. You have wisdom and knowledge that other people are seeking. Okay, so those people are going to find you. Okay, so ask spirit for them to be put in front of you. They may be answers to some of the questions that you're seeking in, in some of your own personal growth. Um, and sometimes non-action is a good place to be. It's a, it's a space of um, I'm going to take the time to just listen. I'm going to take the time to listen to my own inner voice. And I'm just going to allow myself to be guided, you know, and, and that's sometimes a really um, strong energy to be in. So let's put this out into the universe and let's ask spirit to continue to guide you in any way, shape or form that spirit wants to continue to guide you. I want to thank spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I want to thank you all for your kind words and comments always. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.